Hi there, just wanted to put together another demonstration in regards to this T1 steel that we use here at Western Canadian Rockwell uh, in comparison to mild steel that's used, you know, quite regularly throughout the off-road industry. Um, we use this for 98% of our products. We build all sorts of stuff out of it. Um, see, we build shock tabs, all our link tabs for two and a half ton, five ton axle tech are all built out of this stuff. We build our wheel centers, all from T1 ever since day one. Even our steering knuckles that we build for the Meritors and the two and a half tons, the spindle plates and the kingpin top cats are all built from T1. Uh, we build a whole line of miscellaneous builder parts such as tabs, brackets, gussets, little things like that. Uh, we also have uh, weld washers, if you need to repair a hole or strengthen it, uh, we have them built out of T1 as well. Uh, so the main advantage to this T1 steel is that the material that it's built from and the way that it's manufactured, it is a lot stronger than mild. Uh, it's harder, so there's less chance of it elongating a hole if it's used in a situation such as a shock tab or a link tab. Um, it's also a lot stronger, less resistance to bending. That's why we like to use it in our wheel centers and stuff like that. And the main advantage that we've come up with for this stuff is that because it is so strong, we don't need to add a lot of weight. We can use a thinner material in an instance where you'd have to use a thicker, mild material. Um, the other nice part too is that this, or this T1 steel it's easy to weld. You can weld it to uh, mild steel. Uh, it's easy to work with. Um, the only, you can bend it. Like if you need to put a bend in this stuff, it'll bend, it won't crack or break like say an armor plate or anything like that. The only disadvantage that I can come up with is that because it's a harder material, it's tougher to drill. And if you wanted to thread it, you have to make sure you got some pretty high quality tools to do that or it's just gonna tear stuff up and it'll dull your bits and dull your taps and you won't be able to do it. The other thing too that guys run into issues with is that it is sometimes hard to uh, cut. Like if you're using a CNC plasma or laser, it can be a little more difficult, mostly because of the thick mill scale on it. That's all part of the process of manufacturing it. Uh, we use a state-of-the-art laser, fiber optic laser table to cut this stuff. We end up with some pretty nice results. Um, so what I'm going to do is just put together a real simple demonstration between this T1 steel that we use in comparison to mild. It's probably the simplest demonstration that I've ever come across, but it gives you a real good idea on the differences between the two. So that's what we're going to do today. So what we've got here is two pieces of identical sized steel. One's T1, one's mild. They're real thin, 038, just sheet metal type stuff. And what we're going to do is we're just going to give this a little bend. See, they started off nice and straight. I'm just going to give it a little tweak and see what happens. As you can see, the mild steel, it's already deformed. It's got a bend in it. The T1 stayed nice and straight. If this is a wheel center made out of comparable materials, as you can tell, the T1 drive away wouldn't even know you took that hard hit and it's perfectly fine. So what we're going to do is we'll stack these the other way around like this and we'll give her a real hard bend just to kind of exaggerate the damage. As you can see, the T1, you know, it did bend. It's not invincible, but it took the hit a lot better than the mild did. As you can see, it's quite a bit more damaged. So what we're gonna do is we'll kind of set this up and kind of almost give you a demonstration on what it takes to straighten this stuff out as well. So like I said, we're just gonna keep this demonstration real simple, nothing fancy here. We've got our mild steel set up in the vise, straighten it out, take one finger, no problem bends like butter quite easy uh, t1 steel take it set up in the vise it's already bent 
and we can't bend it. It's quite a bit stronger. And what we'll do is I'll actually set this up with a scale so you can actually see the physical difference and just don't take my word for it. So what we've got here is two fresh pieces, same size, same thicknesses, mild steel and T1. I also have a scale, just a typical type fish scale. It's got the graduations here. It's got a little stopper. So when you pull on it, it records the strength that it takes to pull the scale down. So what we're gonna do is just set these both up in here. We'll hook the scale onto it. Uh, you can watch here the pressure that it takes to bend these. There you go. That's the mild steel. I'm going to set up a T1 in here. Reset the scale. Hook that on there. and maxed out the scale. It's a pretty good indication on some of the actual differences between the T1 and the mild. As you can see, it's got a lot of benefits over the mild steel used throughout the industry. If you guys have any questions, you're welcome to check out our website. Uh, send me a message, give me a call, send me an email. I'm more than happy to talk to anybody. And if you need any parts and pieces, you know where to find us. Thanks.